All right, so I'm finally in a Summer 24 pre-release org. I've been waiting all day. There are a ton of cool new enhancements that I want to show you. But in this video, I'd like to go through the new um, automation lightning app, which I think it's kind of an extension of the Flow Trigger Explorer. So I'm a big fan of the Flow Trigger Explorer. I found it really helpful to just be able to select my object and then my trigger type and be able to see all the flows that are essentially active or inactive um, based on those criteria. Um, I think the Automation Lightning app is going to be quite interesting. Apparently, we're going to be able to use list views to improve the way that we find existing flows. We're also going to be able to share flows with other users, that, and that, I'm keen to see how that works. But first things first, we need to enable the feature so we can actually access it. So here is uh, Salesforce in my pre-release org. If you search for flows, then you essentially get this message to let you know about the new Automation Lightning app. So we're going to be able to search for flows, use more list views for sorting options, which is interesting, although you can kind of already do that now. Um, and we're also going to be able to share flows with other users. But before we do anything, we need to enable this. If you go to the front end on your app launcher and search for automation, by the way, not flows, you have to search for automation. If nothing comes up, then what you need to do on the setup, you need to go to automation settings. And then it's a little bit hidden, but if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see here that says enable the automation lightning app. So you want to tick that and hit save. Cool. Now, if we go back to the front end, we'll do a quick refresh and then we'll search for automation again. Here's our app. That was quick. I like that. And this is the initial look at the automation lightning app. Now let's get rid of this. So. First glance, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it looks like a lightning app, which I kind of like. I love the fact that it says join the flow community here on the left. Um, I wonder where this takes us. Let's have a look. Okay, so this takes us to the Salesforce Flow Automation Trailblazer community. So that's cool. I love that. I'm going to join that right now. Can't believe I wasn't part of that already. Um, but let's turn off these notifications. Otherwise, I'm going to get spammed with this every week. Uh, it would be nice if this took you to Slack communities because they're super popular and that's usually where I hang out for, uh, for flows anyway, but maybe that's, um, something that can come in the future, or maybe that's just something custom that you can add to your, um, to your org. But in general, it would be nice if, if Salesforce was sending everybody to, to the same place. Um, then above that, we have essentially our list views. So there's nothing displaying here. So I guess I have to create a new one. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll hit new. Oh. Okay, then. Well, that creates a new flow. That's interesting. I wonder if I'm going to start creating flows from here instead of going to setup and then searching for flows and then clicking new or just using the um, Salesforce Inspector Reloaded and using the shortcut for for flows. I wonder if now this is going to be the place to go. Okay, well, we don't want to create a new flow because we, uh, we're not interested in that. Um, so how then, I guess we have to click on the tab, find. So flow is now an object, it's a tab, okay? And uh, we have already some list views here, which is interesting. What's the filter on this? Because I have some flows. Okay, so this is showing me all the flows, but is it? Errored flows, recently modified, that's a bit weird. I wonder if we can add something else here. Um, active version, API category created, flow definition, oh, package name. No, not really. 
progress status. Okay. Repairing activated. Is that flow status? Mm. Still not showing me anything. So, okay. That's interesting. And I'm guessing this new button is just going to take me to the new flow again. Fine. Okay. What if we create a new list view? Okay, so we can do that. This is just a, works the same way as a normal list view. But why am I not seeing any flows is the question. I guess, let me just create. Let's start from scratch. This is another new feature, by the way, but we're going to have a look at this in a different video. I'm just going to create a flow really quickly. We'll just say case and that's it. Let's create this case test flow. I'm not even going to activate it. I just want to go back and see whether this... I see. Okay, so you have to create the flow to show it here. I should already have some flows, and it's just not picking that up at all. Okay, so now that we've managed to see a flow as a result in our list view, what we can do is click on the actual record to be taken to the record detail page of that flow. So flows are now records if you're using the automation app. So if we click on it, we essentially have a details component where we can see information about our flow, which is super helpful. If we go to the related list, we're going to be able to see all of the other flow versions, which I think is extremely helpful, especially when you're working with complex flows that has maybe 50 plus, 100 plus versions. I think this will be really good. On the right-hand side, we also have some actions so we can open the flow open the latest version of the flow, change owner, or delete the flow. I wonder if you have multiple versions deleting it, will just delete this actual version or all the versions, the entire flow. That's something to keep an eye out for. But a really cool thing that you can do, now there is a category and a subcategory field on this page, which means that you can probably add values to this and then use it as a list view filter. So this is where we start to take a little bit more advantage of that list view it being in a Lightning app, we can actually start filtering things a lot easier. Now, because this is a record now, it should mean that we can go on the cogwheel and click Edit Object. So now we have this Flow object under Object Manager. If we go to Fields and Relationships, it would be really cool if we could create new fields just to help categorize our search um, so that we can basically stay more organized when we're working in an org that has a lot of automations. Unfortunately, though, when I click new, I do run into this unable to access page error. I'm not sure if this is intended or not, but this is currently what's happening at the moment. So if I go to setup and search flow, then you see that I already have the org already comes with quite a lot of flows and most of which is also activated. They're managed installed though. So package state, let's see if we can just add that it should be because there is no criteria anyway, but let's just play with it. Package state, let's say um, manage installed and then manage. Doesn't do it. Doesn't do it. Filtered by owner. And that is why I have to own the flow so I can't see every flow in the system. That's interesting. I wonder if that's just this list view. So let's try something else. Hang in there. Let's see all org flows. Let's just try this and see if that gives me a different. It does not. It does not. Overrides flow owner equals you can't select one. That's too bad. Not equal to me. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Okay. This is interesting. Might have to play around a little bit more with this, but fine. At least for now, we can see go back to all the flows we can see here the flow that i've created 
There are some columns here is quite useful. Um, there is a drop down that I can open the flow, change the latest, open the latest version, change the owner, and then delete. Fine, that's all good. Um, and here I would be able to see errored flows. This would be very interesting. I'm excited for this. All flows progress rate equal error. Fair enough. So this is it's nothing really special. It's just another list view component on the Lightning page. Um, so in terms of sharing flows, then I guess you just share the related list. Wow. Okay. I guess you just share the related list then. Um, interesting. Well, anyway, this is essentially what the automation app looks like. There is not much to it, I suppose. They just managed to put a the flow list view that was essentially on the back end on the setup. They managed to put that on the front end now on a Lightning app. A little bit easier to get to. Possibly a bit easier to create flows, but not a lot of new functionality, I guess, just things that we would have assumed anyway from having flows in a list view. Um, I'm not particularly happy or convinced with the fact that it's not showing me all the flows in my all um, flows list view, especially when my filter is very much just show me all the flows, but it seems to be hard coded to show me by owner, which is not very good. Um, but maybe there is a way around that. So let me play around with it a little bit more and then I can get back to you. But in any case, now at least you know how to access it yourself. So hope you found this helpful.